Hello Virgo and welcome to your mid-month reading. This is for Virgo. If this resonates with you Virgo, please like, share, and subscribe. Leave me a comment. I would greatly appreciate it. If this does not resonate with you at all Virgo, please do check your moon, your rising, your Venus sign as this will not resonate with every Virgo out there. Cross watchers, please keep in mind that some of the energies can be vice versa, interchangeable. So however, it resonates with you. This is for Virgo. This is for Virgo. What does Virgo need to know? What does Virgo need to know? Let's see, okay. Feeling kind of stuck, feeling disappointed, feeling rejected here, but focusing on your power. Very good. All right, so this is a process. At the end of the day, Virgo, um, you are becoming very future forward, all right? You are regaining your strength, okay? I feel like what this is saying is it's time to let this go because something better is coming to you. I feel like whatever this is that has happened, whether this is love, we're, we're going to look at love first, we're going to look at career, but whether this is love or career, um, you've just been stuck standing still for way too long and the sooner you let this go the better. So, you're regaining your strength. I see that you're regaining your power. And there are new opportunities that are going to present themselves to you as soon as you are ready to receive them. But turning your back on this bullshit right here is the key to wish fulfillment. That is the key to having your cups fulfilled. All right? Turning your back on things that no longer serve you and staying in places for way too long, staying with people for way too long, um, it's, it's, you're not getting what you want. You're not getting what you need. You are not happy. You want to be happy. You want your something better. You want that wish fulfillment. You want your cups to be filled. Let's start looking towards the future and embracing the new. This goes for love and career for you. Nine of cups here. Time to go. Time to let this bullshit go. It's just bringing you down. The longer you stand still, the more depressed you're going to get. Okay? You want a new reality? You have to choose to make that switch and move forward. So do you want to stand still? And feel rejected and keep looking at the past and feeling miserable or do you want to move forward and embrace the new because the new is where your victory is whether this is new love whether this is a new job it's time to go you can be dealing with the cancer so here you are it's a process right sometimes it takes uh, it takes a minute, but I feel like you've been standing here for way too long. So we got the strength card here. This is Leo energy. Confidence is needed, right? Strength, confidence is needed to be able to embrace the new with open arms. And you are regaining your strength. I feel like in regards to love, somebody really did a number on you. In regards to career, I just feel like you're just, <laughs> you've really had it, but you just keep standing still. All overthinking, overthinking. Confidence is what is needed. You are the key to changing your life. So, your intuition is telling you it's time to go. Your higher self is 
saying, Virgo, this shit ain't getting no better. It's time to go. Please listen to your gut. You see the writing on the wall, no matter if this is love or career, or whatever. There's things, there's, in regards to a past situation that you felt so disappointed and rejected by, they were doing things behind the scenes. In regards to your job that's keeping you just bound and like so frustrated, I just feel so much frustration here with this Eight of Swords. There's shit you don't know, but you feel it. You feel like it's going to fall apart here. So if you don't move, Virgo, the universe is going to move you. All right. So please make the decision to move yourself. Because when the universe takes control, it will pull the rug right out from under you. And it's a shit show. Trust me. It's time. This is the situation. You just standing still. Not listening to the signs. Not You have to listen to your higher self. You have to listen to your intuition on this one. Feeling rejected in regards to your love life. Feeling bored and just unsatisfied in regards to your career. Four of Cups here. And there's depression around this in both aspects of your life. Yet you stand still. Five of Cups. So, after you process this, and after you decide, okay, because it may be like a big light bulb moment, I'm not happy. I'm not happy standing here like this, thinking about the past. I'm not happy standing here dealing with these idiots at work. Nothing's going anywhere. Nothing's progressing. I'm not satisfied. I'm not happy. That's when you're going to say, okay, you know what? I need new energy. I need new relationships that actually have the potential for growth. I need to step into my power and remember who the hell I am with this Empress energy here. You could be dealing with the Libra, you could be dealing with the Taurus, and yeah, I, I want a career that actually can grow and where there's abundance, right? I want all of these things, therefore I have to stop standing still, and that's exactly what you're going to do. You're going to turn your back on complete and total bullshit situations you're going to pick yourself up, you're going to dust yourself off, and you're going to look towards the future because that is where your happiness is. That is where your something better is. And that's a big decision. And it's like, you know, people can say these things to you, but it's ultimately up to you at the end of the day on what reality you want to live in. And I feel like maybe there's one or two people that are giving you some solid advice here that actually care. And, you know, maybe maybe it's me. Um, but it's time to go. It's time to move forward. Three of Wands for Virgo. Okay. So like I was saying... If you don't move, the universe will move you. Be very careful with this one. That tower right there. Then we got the lovers over here. You could be dealing with a Gemini or somebody with Gemini in their chart. You're going to follow the signs. I feel like your higher self, your angels, your ancestors are given to you. And you're going to follow that. You're going to follow your heart. So... This disaster that you're standing in, right, you're going to make a decision to move out of that, turn your back on this, step into your power and remember who the hell you are, and 
this is what's coming. Right? That's what's coming right there. A much beautiful experience for you. A new lover, right? This is going to be a decision that you will not regret. You've stood still for too long. And once that light switch goes off and you remember who you are and you remember your power, nothing can stop you, Virgo. And you know that. And so... All right, a little bit of a spiritual read. Um, the career, the love, it's just kind of everything for you right now. So, all right, I hope that resonates with some of you, most of you, all of you. You can now follow me on all the socials. I'll leave those links down below in the description box. You guys have a beautiful day and a great week, and I will talk to you soon. Take care, and God bless.